What's up guys, it's Kevin here. Wow, I felt like I haven't done this in a long time. Today I'm going to review one of my favourite categories and that is sunscreen. I can never have enough sunscreen because Malaysia is just so hot and I'm always curious to try something new. Today I'm going to review the new Vegan Berry Sunscreen Line by Skin Food. They have three new items right here, you can just see they all look really cute. And for some reason, they're kind of oddly not the same in terms of how they look. Not sure why. Don't they just look adorable? And I'm wearing colours that are similar to this one, I think. So the highlight of this range is having the berry complex over here. You can see they have four different types of berries in all of them, which is meant to revitalize fatigued skin. And berries, as we know, are really, really potent in antioxidants and vitamins. Without further ado, let's dive into review the first one. The Vegan Berry Glowing Sunscreen SP50+. Plus. You can differentiate them by the colour. So this is pink and the main ingredient for this is cranberry. Cranberry, as you know, contains really high amounts of vitamin C, which is really good to kind of like brighten up your skin. And that's also one of the main selling points of this. It's meant to give your skin a nice radiant glowing texture. Apparently, once you reach towards the end of the tube, you can actually tear off this part here. You can see a little cut and that will reveal the remaining amount. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to show you the texture right now. You can just see it is a thick white cream texture. To my surprise, it, it does not have a berry smell, which I was really hoping for. It smells like slightly minted fragrance. So this sunscreen, you can see immediately there is a white cast. It's a blended sunscreen, both chemical and physical. So I'm just going to apply it right over my face right now. Yep, white cast. <laughs> you just have to persevere and just smother it all over your skin. I would say that the texture is kind of like slippery, like slippery cream. So it glides over your skin really fast. It's not like those traditional sunscreens where it's matte and you have to like pull and tug. This one glides all over really fast. It's slightly heavy though, like a bit on the oily side. Make sure you rub in all the edges of the white car so that you don't have like odd white specks all over the edges. Wow, it's almost like I'm a porcelain doll. So yeah, I really like how it makes my skin look really nice, flawless and seamless. You can just see it's really nice in covering up all of the redness and making my skin nice and radiant. Okay, personally in my opinion, I feel like this sunscreen's a little bit oily for my liking. Oil texture residue on my fingers and as you can see, my face is really shiny and bright. Hence, this is really good if you want like a pick-me-up to get your skin glowing. I'll come back in a few hours and show you how it looks like. Alright, half a day update, like probably 5 hours. I had lunch, I went out shopping. It's a bit oily on my forehead, if you guys can see the sheen on this part and on my nose. I would say this sunscreen is actually not bad. It's able to make my skin look really fresh and like dewy, radiant, just only for the oiliness factor. Alright, it's the next day. I just showered so my hair is a mess. I haven't done it at all. The next sunscreen we're going to review is one of my favourite colours, blue. This is the Blueberry Vegan Berry Moisturising SPF 50 Plus Sunscreen. First thing first, you'll notice, look at the packaging. It's so cute. It's almost like a little toy. The main ingredient for this is blueberries. And as we know, blueberries are superfood with really high antioxidants that can help make the skin healthy and also to provide anti-aging. It's an essence cream and also sunscreen at the same time. So basically you have three in one, in one bottle, and theoretically you can apply it directly after you cleanse your face, which is what I'm gonna do now. I literally just washed my face and I haven't applied any product at all. Let's have a go. Immediately you can see the texture is so different. This is more like a watery, milky texture, and the consistency is not that thick. Just gonna apply it over my face. glides all over really quickly so you don't have to worry about tugging your skin and luckily there's no white cast i'm so happy this is a chemical sunscreen what do you guys think of the finishing so far i really like this this one to me is more like watery texture consistency which i really like it, how it makes my skin kind of not too oily or greasy you can just see that my skin is kind of like having that moist dewy look but not shiny and like fresh full of moisture since this is the moisturizing one Alright, now it's time for the third sunscreen and this is the last one. Wow, that was really fast. In the colour sequence, this one is the green one. This is the soothing sunscreen. 
SPF 50 plus, the main ingredient for this one is Indian gooseberry. Now, I have never heard of that fruit before. Have you guys? Apparently, it contains 25 times more vitamin C than orange. So it's really kind of potent and healthy for your skin. I think it's meant to soothe your skin for people with irritated textures. And it's also able to protect your skin from fine dust, which I'm not really sure how it does that. And this one has a very faint kind of like a herbal minty smell compared to the first two. And it's actually quite noticeable. So let me show you how it looks like on my skin. Wow. First thing you'll notice is the quite obvious white cast. So yeah, again, you have to persevere and just rub it all in. As I keep on lathering in, it has a kind of like a matte powdery finishing to it. Not exactly that oily, which is good. So. I would say that this one is probably the least oily of them all. And voila, this is how it looks like at the end. What do you guys think? Shade wise, it's like maybe one or two shades whiter than my neck. So yeah, it's kind of obvious. <laughs> For now, I actually do like the finishing. It's kind of like satin matte feel. You guys can see. And just makes my skin look so seamless. No pores and flawless. Alright, that's the end of this review. I had a very good time trying out these three new vegan berry sunscreen from Skin Food. And now it's time for ranking. For me, my number one favorite would have to be this one, the Blueberry Moisturizing Sunscreen, because I really love just how multifunctional it is and also how the texture is so watery and light and doesn't make my skin oily. To me, this is like very clear winner. Then it boils down to these two, which gives off white cast. I would have to go with this one for number two, the Indian Gooseberry Soothing Sunscreen, because I just love how my skin is very silky matte and kind of like not so greasy, even after many hours. To me, that's quite handy because I have oily skin. Third one, Cranberry Glowing Sunscreen. I just think it's too oily for me. I don't particularly like the texture and also how it just makes my skin a bit too shiny at the end. If you guys want to try out this product since they're very new, you can find them in the links below. There's also a promo code where you can get some discounts. And let me know after trying them, what do you guys think? Do you guys also feel the same way as I do? I'm curious to find out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!